Ooh -hoo. Good morning, good morning. How you doing? Well, we're here coming to you live from the south of Spain. I'm not in Scotland anymore. I'm back to Spain. So I can just go on my normal verbiage of salutation. So how are you doing? If you're watching live, come and say hi. If you're watching the replay, if you're tuning in replay, pop in replay and I'm watching where I'm going here. And let me know where you're tuning in from. So it's a lovely morning down here in the south of Spain and I'm out on my normal morning constitution, which is a walk. And then I go to the gym when I'm home. I walk to the gym, I go to the gym, and I walk back from the gym. But today, there's no gym because it's Zumba. And I'm not a huge Zumba lover. I love to dance, don't get me wrong, I love to dance. Let me know in the chat if you love to dance. I love to dance. Oh, I was going to sing that song, what is it? Oh, I love to love, love my baby, just got to dance, he wants to dance. Anyway, none of that. Who sang that? Who sang that one? Anyway, I love to dance, but in the Zumba class, I'm a bit slow. My brain and my feet don't don't coordinate in time quick enough so i'm usually about 16 steps behind everybody else anyway i'm hiding behind this bush because it's in the shade and at the end i'm going to flip because the sea is super rough this morning anyway what i wanted to quickly jump on and just share some thoughts about habits i've been reading this book called atomic habits let me know if you've heard of it by Oh, what's his name? James Clear. Clear. C-L-E-A-R. James Clear. I'll pop the link when I get home. I'll take a picture and talk about it in my stories, actually. So it's called Atomic Habits. And it's really, really interesting. I'll tell you what got me onto the book was, a few weeks ago, I was up in Granada for a few days on a mini break. And when I was lying by the pool... There was, on two different days, there was two different women reading this book called Atomic Habits. And I thought, that's a sign, Wilma. That is a sign to go and get the book. So when I came home, I ordered it on Amazon and it came, so I read it on my recent trip back to Scotland. I read it on the way on the flight and I read it on the way back and I've actually started it again. It's really, it's not a huge book. It's really, really interesting. But the guy's talking about habit forming and I was putting it into the context. You can put it into any context you like, but I was popping it into the context of what we do here and reshape your body forever. We're talking about reshaping your body and introducing healthy habits into our lives. And I know it's not easy. I know if you have been, for example, used to tucking into cereal every morning for your breakfast and all of a sudden for, for 20, 30, 40 years it's been cornflakes and milk and sugar or crunchy nut cornflakes. Let me know if you're a cereal lover. Pop in the chat what's your favourite cereal. I know if you've been tucking into that every single day for ever to actually suddenly stop eating cereal. But by the way, if you're a cereal lover you should watch one of my videos on here about cereal no you probably wouldn't want to eat it again it's worse for you than a cake anyway to change that habit of just going into the kitchen and opening the cupboard and pulling out the cornflakes and pouring it into a bowl you're doing it on automatic pilot you're not even thinking about it you're not even thinking about it and it's quite it's like if you for a smoker you just pick up a cigarette, a packet of cigarettes, and you you smoke. You don't even think about it. You don't even have to think, oh, I'm going to have a cigarette. Let me walk into the living room. That thought, let me pick up the packet of cigarettes. Let me open, let me put... You don't even think about it. You automatically do it. And this book is all about reshaping, reforming the process of a habit. And 
on the subject of weight loss and eating healthy and introducing healthier habits into your life, you're all of a sudden not going to be doing it what you normally do day one and day two you're like completely not doing it. You need to introduce them one step at a time and get your mindset round the habit. Think differently. For example, with the cornflakes or with a cigarette, is this what a healthy person would do? No. So you're thinking about it. So it makes you think that, well, actually, maybe I shouldn't have these cornflakes or maybe I shouldn't have that cigarette. We all know that. It's really quite interesting. So if you're interested in this book, I'll pop stuff in my stories later and I'll pop it in a post so you can see it. And I've got an itchy eye. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And uh, that's what I wanted to share this morning. You don't need me to share stuff about habits. Go and get the book and read it yourself because it's really worth reading. I think it was 16 99 or something and euros. So I don't know what that would be in your currency, but for me it was six no fifteen ninety nine, something like that. Anyway, it's nice to be back in Spain. It's nice to be back in my usual routine, in my habit where I just get up and get out and do it. I don't even need to think about going for a walk because I just do it. It's who I become. All these things you just do on automatic pilot. The good habits the bad habits that we need to train ourselves a little bit more into right guys have a great day and if you're interested in healthy eating and all that fun stuff and how introducing healthier options into your life pop reshape in the comments and dot the bot will send you some information and then we can talk later on she does it first because I'm usually out and about and can't get to you. And I know you want to get your hands on Reshape before before I can get to send it to you. So pop Reshape in the comments and dot the ball, send it to you. And we'll speak later. Right, but guess, see you later.